morning. What's up, YouTubers? It's Johnny again. And you can find my stuff at johnnyfrom.com. Anyhow, this is just a video for those of you who happen to be in Central America. And say you happen to be in uh, Guatemala. Uh, I just want to show you how to use, or how I use public, tra look, public transportation to cross the border from uh, Guatemala to uh, Honduras. I'm right now in Copan, Copan, Honduras. I just want to kind of explain uh, the routine, what's involved, in case you don't want to take the uh, shuttle. Oops. And tonight's production is brought to you by Barrena Beer. Barrena Beer is a really nice beer. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's one of the premium beers here in uh, Honduras. It's my first day, so I decided to try it out. It has a nice, real creamy flavor to it. Uh, it seems like it's a nice rich beer. I don't have a glass to pour it into, but it seems like it might be kind of a darker ale or even lager. Anyhow, um, if you want to know what it's like to cross the border without the help of anyone or the shuttle services, um, I'll, I'll let you in on a few things. Um, if you go on Tika bus now, say you're in the capital of, of Guatemala City, uh, if you go on Tika bus now, you can just buy your ticket there and, and cross the border and they have a guy on the bus he just takes all the passports and he he just takes them to the immigration on uh, both sides because you're going to need the exit stamp and then you're going to need the entry well you don't get an entry stamp but when you go into El Salvador for example they put you in the computer and he does all that so if you go that route and it's pretty cheap um, they take care of all that now, if you just go up to the border and walk across and you don't get all your stamps and entry stamps, you're, you're going to be in the country illegally. You're going to have to pay a fine and leave. Excuse me. Anyhow, that's happened to me. I forgot to get my passport stamp when I was coming back from El Salvador. It cost me 250 quetzales, which is really not bad, but I didn't want to pay it. But it wasn't any way around it that I could think of. Anyhow, um, if you're looking to go from like... Guatemala City to Honduras and you just want to take local trans local transportation, here's how you do it. In my case, I got a place up in Shayla, so I went from Shayla to Guatemala City on the local bus, uh, Transporte Ale Alamo, Transporte Alamo. That's about 65 quetzales. And then they dropped me off at the bus station there in town. I think that's zone 18, if I remember right. And here's where the big problem is. This is where it costs you some money. To take a taxi to Central Norte, you have to go to Central Norte if you're going to take kind of the cheaper low-end budget tr transportation to get to the border. Anyways, you go from Central Norte from the bus station, and that cost me 100 Q. Now, when you're at Central Norte, they usually will take you anywhere in, in the city for like 75 or no, 70, 70 kits always. But this guy... He wouldn't budge on a hundred, so that's what I did. Anyways, uh, there's a lot of traffic. Got to Central Norte, and that's where you're going to catch the bus to uh, Chiquimula. Now, when you get there, it's a really nice high-end ball. So if you got time, get a nice coffee, walk around, check out all the junk food they got there. They got all the major junk food chains there selling you fast food if you're into that. It's a really fantastic mall. And if you go in that mall and you have to go to the bathroom, they have a new system now where you don't pay the money to the guy. You got to put your money in a machine, get a ticket, take that ticket, and then put it into another machine just to go through the stall. So good luck on that. It's about 2Q now. Anyways, uh, <laughs> it's all machinery to take away it's someone's job, except for now they got to have two people there to explain how you use it all, even to the locals. Anyhow, when you get to Central Norte, you can take Central a local bus in Central Mo Centra Norte, you're going to take the local transportation to Chiquimula. And there's like three or four bus companies there. Centra Norte is also where you take, catch the bus to go to Coban. Not Copan, but Coban. Uh, that's, uh, gosh, I forget the name of that one, but. Uh, 
can't remember. Anyways, just look for the bus station. Ask if you don't know where to go. They'll tell you. So you're looking for a tra transportation to Chiquimula. And once you get to Chiquimula, oh, I forgot. It's 40Q to go from Central Norte to uh, Chiquimula. And then once you are, and that's about three hours. It's one of them little kind of buses that you've seen on the road. Once you get to Chiquimula, uh, just head on over to, uh, if it's like 6 o'clock, all the local transportation to uh, Copan is pretty much stopped. So just get a hotel there if it's uh, after 6. I got there after 6. So just head on over to uh, Hotel Hernandez. And it's a, such a small town, you can just walk to all these places. If you get lost, just ask for help. Uh, that's what I did. They pointed me in the right direction. Got to my hotel. And then uh, Hotel Hernandez costs about 80 Q to get a private room with a bath. It's a really nice place. And they have Wi-Fi and all the normal stuff. And it's a little hot there, but uh, they got fans. And, and when it, it cools down at night. But anyways, when you get up the next day, you're going to have to go back down to the bus station. You just get one of them little buses to uh, El Florida. Anyways, once you get there, that's about 25 Q, yeah. You just walk to the uh, the immigration for uh, La Migración for uh, Guatemala, and the gal will stamp you out, and then you just keep walking towards the Migración de Honduras, and then they'll just stamp you right in. In my case, they gave me 30 days. I don't get it for the 30-day thing since they're part of the C4, but anyways... It is what it is, I guess. And then when you get to uh, when you get through the Migración de Honduras, you just keep walking about 20, 30 feet, and there's just a little shuttle there that'll take you in, and they charge 20 uh, lemperas, 20 lemperas to get into Copan. So good luck if you need good luck on your uh, border crossing, and that's all there is to it. So uh, like the video, share, tell me what you think. Thanks.